And in the red corner, it's Triporn Chor Chansil. 18 years of age, started fighting was 12. He's 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighs 114 pounds, has had 31 professional fights for 9 losses only and 1 draw. And in the blue corner, Chai Moncon Sit Kabui. He's 18 years of age, started fighting was 12. He's 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighs 119 pounds, has had 33 fights for 7 losses only and 5 draws. Well, there it is, the sound of the Ram Mue live orchestra here at the stadium tonight. And on their knees performing the wire crew is Triporn in the red and Chai Mon Con in the blue. The Muay Thai World Council has instructed that all Muay Thai bouts fought around the world, whether they be with Thais or, or other international fighters, they must perform this Ra Mue Wa Crew pre-fight dance. It's considered to be fairly essential part of the Muay Thai fighting scene. And uh, I've noticed that the international fighters that do come into Thailand now to test themselves against the Thais, these are kick, prominent kickboxers, they uh, do perform the Ra Mue, which is important uh, cultural respect uh, for the the Thai heritage of Muay Thai. So, round one, schedule for five, Trip Horn in the red, Chai Mon Con in the blue. Let's see what tactics are used here, whether they'll stay back and use the roundhouse kicks or come in close for the grappling and the use of the knees and elbows. Oh, that was a great kick there by Chai Mon Kong, and that had an enormous amount of power, and that was a, a classic roundhouse kick that the Thais are renowned for. There's another good kick there by Chai Mon Kong. Chai Mon Kong preferring to stand back and use those sledging roundhouse kicks. Triporn lets fly with a roundhouse himself. Yes, those roundhouse are really what Muay Thai has become very well known for ever since Bruce Lee came out to Thailand to make that movie The Big Boss and he was shown how to use the Thai roundhouse kick. He, you'll see it in a lot of the movies ever since then and of course the Thais have been doing it for hundreds of years. And there's the power of that roundhouse kick. You can see the way that Chai Mon Kong went down as Tripon just let fly like a baseball bat. Hitting a ball. So round two. Both fighters indicating that they intend to stick with this roundhouse kicking slugfest. Both of them are trying to find the opening to land the kicks. And as you can see there, Tripon did find it and he got right through. Shaved the head of Chai Mon Con. Of course, those roundhouses, if they can land with the shin onto the head, well, with any power, it's a knockout. That's the thing about the roundhouse kick. It's not, it's not the foot that does the damage. It's that hard shin bone that they use as a baseball bat. And the shin being the hardest bone in the body comes clubbing in with the full force of the roundhouse pendulum kick. Roundhouse stop there on the arm by Chai Mon Con. We haven't seen the in close grappling in this fight. Both of them are still persisting with these roundhouse kicks. Maybe we'll see the grappling come in later on in the fight, but for now it's 
Tit for tap with the roundhouse. Now grappling for the first time. Not for long though, as Chai Mon Kong breaks loose with a roundhouse kick. Good roundhouse there by Chai Mon Kong. Got right through the guard of Trip Horn and, and in fact did come onto the head. So both fighters have been able to penetrate with their roundhouse kicks in this first two rounds. The referee urging the fighters to keep on going. Roundhouse exchanges once again. Trip Horn in the red comes back at Chai Mon Kong. But so far, it's been a very even encounter. There's a good teeth push kick by Chai Mon Kong, used aggressively. See the referee urging the fighters, the, as is the tradition of Muay Thai, the referee has the job of keeping the action going. Another good roundhouse there, roundhouse to the head by Chai Mon Kong. Very close, even contest is this one. End of round two. Very even fight. I, I wouldn't hazard a guess to who's in front of this stage. Both fighters have been able to attack and counter-attack. And with these roundhouse kicks that you're seeing now, even exchanges. Round three. Let's see if some development can happen in this fight now. Will there be a change of tactics or will they keep on standing back and countering each other with roundhouse kicks? We'll see what happens. Try Pawn moving in onto Chai Mon Kong. Body by Chai Mon Kong that brought the crowd to life. Trip on being a little bit hesitant now as Chai Mon Kong starting to find his mark with his roundhouse kicks out Chai Mon Kong in the blue. Trip on in the red. Trip on misses, turns his back, and Chai Mon Kong lets fly with a roundhouse that lands smack on the back of Tree Pawn. So it's been a good round so far, has round three been for Chai Mon Kong. Kicks again by both fighters. Punch kick combination by Chai Mon Kong. Again, both fighters very evenly matched. It's kick and counter kick. We haven't seen too much in close in fighting or grappling. Both of them are standing back and letting fly these roundhouses. There they go. That was a fine exchange there. Neither fighter giving a quarter. Now we're into the grapple for about the first time in this contest, but not for long. Broken by the kicks again. Triphorn started this round slowly, but he's coming back now in the latter stages. Into the grapple. Triphorn doing nothing much with his grapple though. Chai Mon Kong finally getting in the knees himself. Grappling quarters are on and this is where the knees come into effect. Good knees by Chai Mon Kong. Triphorn pushes Chai Mon Kong away and then he comes back on to face his opponent as the bell sounds. So a fairly even round again in round three. There's a couple of highlights though, but it certainly was the roundhouse kicking that both fighters were sticking with, although when it got into a little bit of the grappling quarters there, Triphorn was able to get the class bomb but not for long and you're watching Muay Thai. I'm Cameron Williams. Muay Thai.
As we go into round four, I have this fight very much deadlocked. I, I don't believe that the judges would also have it even at this stage. It'll be left for these last two rounds to determine who will win as we go. Let's see the way in which this fight develops. First two rounds have been almost virtually locked into the stand back state. Now we see the fight transferring into close range and Trapon looking a little bit stronger in the grapple than he did standing back. He's keen to get in there, use his elbows if he can, use his knees in the grappling. That's what, it's, that's what you mostly see in grappling. Once the grapple goes on, the fighters start to use their knees to attack. And Trip Horn in the red corner is certainly doing the attacks at the moment up against Chai Mong Kong. Trapon, the aggressor, lands the roundhouse kick then comes in with the knees as he tries to push his opponent into grappling. A good roundhouse by Trapon. He's starting to settle down now, Trapon, as we go into this crucial centre section of the fight. Horn's looking a little bit more relaxed now as well. Moving around freely. He sort of gathered that he'd like to get into close quarters, but Chai Mong Kong's been able to keep him away. Good roundhouse exchange there. Chai Mong Kong got slightly the better. Trapon in the red, dancing around a lot. Looking for the opening if he can get it. Fires in the roundhouse, but not much power on that one. Both fighters going back to long range dueling now. Start off the round with the close in fighting techniques, but now they're moving back to roundhouse kicks and Trippon scores that one nicely evades the attack and then was able to slip in his roundhouse kick and that was a fairly important round for both Trip Horn and Chai Mong Kong because it was more or less a matter of sorting out which way this final sector of the fight's going to go and Trip Horn was able to use strong tactics and close and he was also able to consolidate his position with the roundhouse kicking. He's getting a little bit on top of uh, Chai Mong Kong, and with one round re remaining, the fight moves into grappling quarters. Knee attacks by Triporn. Triporn putting on the pressure now as he moves in with more knees after the grapple. Grapples goes on, in goes the knees of Triporn. Triporn attacking again against Chai Mong Kong. Chai Mong Kong spins around and puts the attack back on the Triporn. More knees by Chai Mong Kong. Triporn swings him around, puts up his knee in defence. This, this fight's going to go right to the line. Very even. Triporn comes in hard with roundhouse kicks, then follows up with knees in the grapple. Good attacking move again by Traporn. He's finishing the round strongly, Traporn is. Traporn the red, starting to get a little bit more domination over Chai Mong Kong at the time of the fight when it really counts. This is what impressed the judges. They're undecided. They will be influenced by the power of the opponent and how much attacks he's doing in this crucial fifth round. Traporn attacking on the Chai Mong Kong and Chai Mong Kong really does need to take the attack back or he might find himself losing this encounter. Trapon is having a good last round. Moves into grappling, in goes the knees. More knees by Trapon, Dominating in this latter section of this fight. And Chai Mong Kong is starting to tie. You can see him 
He doesn't have much left in him, and that's allowing Trapon to score freely at the crucial stage when it really counts here in the fifth round. Trapon doing well. I'd have him ahead now, slightly on points, Trapon. Chaimon Khan needs a big finish to get back into this fight. He can't afford to go cruising now. He needs to get in and score, but Trapon's the one who's doing the scoring. Trapon in the red. Deep push kick. Punches. Trapon doing it well now as we go into the final half minute of this round. Trapon in the red has had a good closing stanza to this, to this bout. Trapon, I believe, has done enough. He can afford to defend now. And I think you'll find he's won the contest. That's Trapon in the red. We'll wait for the official judgment. But I'd be surprised if Trapon doesn't run out the winner of this one. In fact, you can sort of see that Chai Mong Kong has virtually accepted the fact that he has not done enough to win this encounter. There it is. The winner on points, Trapon, Chor, Chan Sil. The winner on points over five rounds of Muay Thai.